everyone. Welcome to Reasonably Sure. I'm Anna Kasparian, not Michael Shore, but you know what? I'm also reasonably sure. We'll talk about <laughs> what I'm reasonably sure about in just a moment. But before we get to all of that, I want to introduce our fantastic guest today, Jennifer Cohen. Hi. Hey, who is a best selling author, um, who is also a fitness savant, a performance coach. She's published incredible books, one of which we will talk about on the show today. But more importantly, she's done incredibly impressive work in regard to achieving success in life and using physical activity to get it done. And so we're gonna do a deep dive into those topics and I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you so much for joining us today. No, I'm happy to be here. Thank you, great meeting you and- Thank you, thank you. Um, you've written some real fantastic uh, pieces for Forbes, uh, which I read this morning. And it was inspiring to read about it, especially because you know, in in this political climate, it's a very stressful time for people who do what I do. Right. <laughs> and, and one of the challenges that I face on a daily basis is fitting in the physical fitness and the health routine and all that stuff. And so I, I want to, you know, of course, get some advice on that, not just for myself, but for our audience. And before we get to it, though, I want to ask you a question about how you got into this profession to begin with. What inspired you, why are you doing this? Oh wow, okay, this is um, going back, I don't wanna age myself any more than I have to, but um, really it was kind of one of those things that fitness and like athletics was always a hobby of mine. I used to work in the music business, which is very much very different than what I do right now. Um, I was young and I figured, you know what, I wanna try to turn my hobby into an actual career. So I quit my music job my, and I went to school, I went back to school just to get all my different certifications to start being a trainer. And then I went back to the record label where I used to work and then kind of reversed it and switched, like switched it on them. And then instead of basically running marketing, I made myself a vendor for the marketing and became a personal trainer for all the different talent that works on the labels. So like, that was signed to the labels. So then I, cause I knew how the money, where the money was allotted. So mm -hmm. I became, like I said, before that people went on tour or did a music video, I would start training them. And then it kind of mushroomed into a real business where then after one label, I got another label and then three labels. And then I had a bunch of trainers who worked underneath me and it became like a, a legitimate business. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I love that. I love hearing the story, the stories of entrepreneurs, especially female entrepreneurs who are willing to kind of step back from a career they've already established right. to do something else. Did you decide to pursue the health and fitness component of your career because you were getting kind of tired of the market? marketing business or did you just, you love both, but you naturally fell into what you're doing now? Right, I think I, I always I always loved music um, and I always loved fitness, but I really, that was a time when the whole music world was really changing. It was, it was right when iTunes happened mm -hmm. and everything was, the whole thing became not really what it used to be. And so I figured it was a good chance and a good opportunity for me to kind of follow my actual dream or follow another area of passion of mine mm -hmm. and try to make it more of something I do day to day because I was doing it anyway day to day. Uh, so that really was the beginning of it. And I don't like working in an office. I'm not a very corporate person. I don't like working in four walls where I'm very contained. Mm -hmm. I like to kind of have more freedom. And being entrepreneurial and doing my own thing and having my own business was much more my personality. So That's, that's interesting because yeah. that mindset also kind of transferred onto the health and fitness component of your career because um, you know one of the things that you talk about is how you don't need a gym membership. You don't need to be in a gym right. to, to be healthy, to have a better lifestyle. And so talk to me a little bit about what professionals can do to fit an exercise routine or whatever it is into their already busy schedules. Cause that's something that I have a hard time grappling with right. on a daily basis. I'm not an executive, right, right, um, right. but I do have a high stress, time consuming career. And honestly, day to day, I get increasingly frustrated with myself. Like I, it's a failure that yes. I didn't fit the exercise in. Yeah. And it becomes a vicious cycle because that stress leads to more cortisol. Cortisol leads to more, you know, baklava early in the morning. <laughs> like so so that's what so true. Yeah. What advice can you give to people who are busy? I think that's a that's a great point. And I think that becomes like the vicious cycle that a lot of people deal with. First of all, I think that the gym I love the gym, but I don't think it's for necessarily for everyone. And also, you do need time to get to the gym, to drive to the gym or walk to the gym, work out at the gym, go back home, take a shower. So really, and there's been a lot of research that's proven that even just working out for 10 minutes 
a day at your home doing basic squats or lunges or just the basics at home five minutes before you start, it's all cumulative. So you just have to start doing something and it does start to lower the cortisol, like help the stress. And the hardest thing for everybody, no matter if you're an executive or, or just somebody like a, or a stay at home mom, it's the beginning getting started that's always the most yeah. challenging. And then once somebody starts, chances are if they do see progress in themselves, that's the best motivator to keep on going and then make that five minutes turn into 10 minutes mm -hmm. or 11 minutes. But just the beginning is always everyone's hurdle. And it's the, I think like there's no magic answer. It really is just, just do it. Like wake up five minutes earlier and mm -hmm. just do some basic stuff in, in your room before you go downstairs. Yeah. And then building on that, because not only does it help with the cortisol, of course, but it, it does help with your energy. So if you have those busy days with kids or work or whatever, it does help and increase your energy and productivity. Yeah, and, and you know what? It really does help with energy and productivity. I'll just give a quick anecdotal example. Right. Mondays happen to be the busiest days for me. I mean, most people would say that, but I usually have two shows that I need to right. produce and host. And so um, it's it's... Super stressful, but this past Monday, I told myself, no, I'm gonna prioritize going on a run. I really love running. And so I did it, and the rest of the day, it was smooth like butter. Like right. it, was, it was such a great day, and I was in a great mood. And when I was confronted with stressful situations, I was able to handle it with better, with a better temper, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so I, I think that the benefits of exercise Usually when it's talked about in, in the press or by other uh, people who are in the fitness world, they focus more on what it does to make you look better, but it's really more about what it does to your mind. It Absolutely. really does help you. Absolutely, so I'm. that's exactly my messages. I, I mean, yes, okay, could it help you get a better butt? Yeah, mm -hmm. could it, can you lose weight from it? Of course you can, but really it's the mental, uh, the mental change and shift that really is the true winner right there. Mm -hmm. It enhances everything. Like for me, now I'm not I don't work out every day because I'm trying to like get leaner or lose weight. I'm doing it truly for my mental capacity or my my, my productivity. Absolutely. And, and it just makes everything the whole day go by better. Two easy ways to follow Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.